In this video we will go through an example on cyclones. The question says that a dry event is cleaned using a bank of cyclones. The gas flow rate is 60 meters cubed per second, the density of solids 2700 kilograms per meter cubed, and the concentration of solids is 10 milligrams per meter cubed. The size distribution of the solids and the collection efficiency curve are given. We need to calculate the solid removal, the final outlet concentration, and the distribution of particles left in the dry event. To make things simpler, we pick out the key information. We know that the gas flow rate is 60 meters cubed per second, the density of the solids is 2700 kilograms per meter cubed, and the concentration of the solids is 10 milligrams per meter cubed. We also have the table with the particle sizes and their distribution. The collection efficiency curve is on another slide. To do a balance on a cyclone, we need to remember that cyclones have one inlet and two outlet streams. In the question, the solids removal is referring to the solids leaving the particles outlet that is labelled on the diagram. The outlet concentration is the concentration of solids in the fluid outlet. This is the collection efficiency curve given by the question. The collection efficiency is the percentage by mass of solids that would be collected. Now we can start to solve the question. We draw a table to organise our calculations. We have seven columns titled Particle Size Range, Mean Particle Size, Percentage of Particles in this Range, Collection Efficiency at Mean Particle Size, Particles Collected, Particles Left in the Fluid Outlet, and Outlet Particle Distribution. We will refer back to these headings in the next slides. To start filling in the table we drew, we write down the ranges of particle sizes that we have information on from the table that was given in the question. To include all the particles, we start with particles bigger than 50 and end with particles smaller than 2 micrometers. Next, find the mean size for each range. There is no mean particle size for particles bigger than 50 as the range is infinite. For the rest of the ranges, we add up and divide by 2. For example, 40 and 50 divided by 2 is 45 micrometers. We need to use the data from the question to find the percentage of particles that are in each range. The first row of the data table tells us that 90% of particles are smaller than 50 micrometers. From this, we can deduce that 10% of particles are bigger than 50 micrometers. And we can fill that in. After filling that in, we do the same again for the next line. The table tells us that 90% of particles are smaller than 50 micrometers and 86% of particles are smaller than 40 micrometers. This means that 4% of particles are in between 40 and 50 micrometers. We can add this to the table. We fill this in and then we do the same for the rest of the column. To fill in the next column, we need to use the collection efficiency curve. We use the curve to find out how many of the particles in each range would be collected by the cyclone. For each size range, read off from the graph what the collection efficiency is at the mean size. For example, for the size range 10 to 20 micrometers, we read off from 15 micrometers and we can see that 83% of the particles would be collected. Repeat this process to fill in the whole column. We fill in the data that we found from the collection efficiency curve. The next column we need to fill in is the percentage of particles collected. This tells us the percentage of particles by mass that will be leaving through the particles outlet. We find this by multiplying the percentage of particles in each range by the collection efficiency. For example, 10% of the particles going into the system by mass are greater than 50 micrometers. Of these particles entering the system, 100% are collected and leave through the particles outlet. Therefore 10% of the particles going into the system by mass are leaving through the particles outlet. So the third column is multiplied by the fourth column. Do this to fill in the whole of the fifth column. Add up the numbers calculated to find the overall percentage of particles that would leave through the particles outlet. We get 69.5%. So 69.5% of the particles by mass going into the system will be collected. For the next column, we recall that the cyclone has one inlet and two outlets. 
we do a mass balance to find the percentage of particles by mass that would leave through the fluid outlet. For each size range we look at the percentage by mass of particles entering the system and the percentage that are leaving through the particles outlet. We subtract them to find the percentage of particles by mass leaving through the fluid outlet. For example, 6% of the particles entering the system are between 30 and 40 micrometers. 5.9% of the particles that entered the system left through the particles outlet. This leaves 0.1% which must leave through the fluid outlet. Keep subtracting the fifth column from the third column. As before, we can add up the numbers calculated to find the overall percentage of particles that would leave through the fluid outlet. We get 30.5%. We can check that the mass balance balances as 30.5% and 69.5% make 100%. To find the distribution of particles left in the dry event, we convert the last column to percentage form. We divide each number by the total and times by 100. For example, for particles smaller than 2 micrometers, we do 9 divided by 30.5 times by 100 is 29.5%. So 29.5% of particles in the fluid outlet are smaller than 2 micrometers. We repeat this to fill in the whole column. To convert these percentages back to the same format that the question was in, we start from the bottom line and add up each percentage. The left column shows the particle sizes, which are exactly the same as the ones in the table from the question. For the column on the right, we start from the bottom line and write in the percentage of particles that are smaller than 2 micrometers. For the line above that, we do 29.5% plus the next percentage up in the big table we drew, which was 28.9%. This gives 58.4%. Keep adding them up to fill in the whole column. To calculate the solids removal, we should start by converting the concentration of solids going into the cyclone into a mass flow rate. This is so we can apply the mass balance to it. We are given that the concentration of solids going into the cyclone is 10 mg per metre cubed of gas. The volumetric flow rate of the gas is 60 metres cubed per second. Therefore we have 600 mg per second of solids going into the cyclone. 69.5% of them by mass are collected. This means that 69.5% of 600 mg per second is collected, which is 417 mg per second. This is the solids removal. We've also calculated that 30.5% of the solids leave through the fluid outlet. Therefore, the outlet concentration is 30.5% of 10 mg per meter cubed of gas, which is 3.05 mg per meter cubed of gas. Finally, we've answered all parts of the question.